Hey everybody and welcome back to SV Blown Away. This week's episode we are doing maintenance. There is no sailing in this episode at all. So I can show you something you've never seen. And both you and I should be too shy about letting go for what's And for those of you that follow our channel, you'll already know that we made a bimini for Blown Away. We made it during the winter last year. A part of that bimini is going to be a full cockpit enclosure. Now, we don't like paying other people to do things that we can do ourselves. So, armed with some material, some clear plastic acrylic, and a sewing machine, we are going to make a full cockpit enclosure for Blown Away. So we sat down to come up with some ideas. We took some measurements, worked out some angles. And we had this genius moment. We decided to put four windows across the front. What a great idea. Now we can see out. Good morning, guys. Um, it's the beginning of December, it's cold, but it's sunny, so we're going to try and get some boat jobs done. Um, one of the things we want to do is create a plastic enclosure for our cockpit. Um, at the moment we have our sunshade, so we have the, the mesh to keep the sun out in the summer. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to create a similar size panel to this, but this mesh is going to be replaced with our clear plastic so this stuff here so that we have sort of a windproof waterproof cockpit area and then we're going to continue it lower because at the moment this stops at the guardrails so we're just going to continue it that little bit lower with the normal um, beige canvas so these are the those are the mesh nets and they're rolled up and the clear plastic ones are also hopefully going to roll up into that sort of area. So this bit will be clear plastic and then down here will be canvas. So this will be the, become the side frames of the plastic. So similar to these bits, but instead of having the, the mesh inside, it will then have the plastic inside. So we just need to hem this, fold it in half, stitch down the middle, um, and then it's ready to have the plastic fitted. So this is what I was just talking about. The, the plastic sheet will literally just sit in there like that. And then we'll sew along here another line, which will hold the plastic into the frame. So most of the strength is then in the, the frame rather than just in the plastic sheet. Okay, so we now have the top 
top frame and the bottom frame. I'm just going to run another layer of stitching on the bottom frame. In between jobs, we are also obviously taking care of Nelson and we are taking care of the cats over Christmas and New Year. Push, 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 push. It's unfortunate, but everyone's away for Christmas and the cats aren't really getting their attention on the food that they have grown used to. As much as I don't like cats particularly, I'm not a cat person. I do feel that uh, me going in there and feeding them once or twice a day is not out of the way. So Only uh, one black and white one, the other one's gone. Ginger one's there, he's looking really scruffy though. But yeah, Nelson's kitten is there. Yeah, this place is just so pretty, and the reason we keep coming back. We're made to feel so welcome here, which is one good thing, and they also, the people in the village are so nice. And they're not just tourist nice. Do you know what I mean? They're not, they're not just being nice to you because you're spending money in their shops and stuff. They're actually being nice, like genuine nice. It's cool. The end results of our um, winter enclosure. Uh, we now have these rolls here, um, which is the clear plastic, and they literally just drop down under the two 10x clips, drop the see through, and just the canvas at the bottom for a bit more protection. What have you got there, Nat? A window! Uh, yeah, it's not a very good window. A window template. A window will fit perfectly in this gap here. So we've hot knifed out the piece in the middle that will form the window. Ta da! And that strange bit at the bottom is for the main sheet to go through. So we're going to have to somehow split this and separate it with leather so it can go either side of the main sheet. That's the plan. Um, but now all we have to do is create a plastic window out of our nice clear plastic material and then stitch it into that. Ta-da! Cool. Go. And how are we going to hold it in position? We are going to, uh, we're going to use hemming tape. So once we've got our plastic material, we are going to use hemming tape to stick it to the frame and then do double stitching if we've got enough cotton. We have for this. So here, all I'm doing is I'm marking out the plastic. I'm making it slightly bigger than the uh, template that I've cut out, ready to stitch into the frame. And once the plastic is cut to size, we are going to put hemming tape around the material and then lay the plastic window on top of the hemming tape to hold it to the frame. Once it's all in situ and we're happy there are no creases, we can then sew the two together. Touches. 
It'll look like a BMW soon. Don't mess it up now, it's on camera. Taking the sharp edges off. Yeah. Well, that's a nice principle. So these, like the others, will roll up and then tuck, they'll tuck away in behind this. It doesn't really show up on camera because you just see straight through it. <laughs> yeah, we've never had a spray hood on this boat. It's going to be amazing. So there are two forward windows rolled up behind the bimini. Not visible from the outside and completely out of the way of those of us sitting inside trying to see where we're going. So this one is rolled up, this one actually also has the fly screen in place still. Uh, we've made it so we've got the zips in the middle so that we can roll these up. So if we if it's raining but we want a little bit of fresh air, we can just roll one up. Or if it's a bad sea state and it's coming in on one side but not the other, we'll be able to just open one for fresh air and ventilation. Yeah. And the other plan is when this panel goes into here, so there'll be another zip down here, There'll be another panel coming across to this vertical bar here for the bimini is that this is large enough for somebody to get through so we should just be able to open this up to go out on the foredeck to take a reef come back inside and then zip this back down again oh you look nice and warm and toasty in there you okay can you breathe in there Cool, I like it. Never had a spray hood. And novel. And then we realise it's gonna look particularly fugly. But I don't care. For now. It keeps us warm and dry. We do that. Shopping. Where is the supermarket? Where are we going? Where are we? Wow. Uh, yeah, we got so much shopping. Shopping, it's all the shopping. We got so much shopping, the thing you won't get back on the plane. So we can't skim our way back home. So we come back at displacement speed. And it's just starting to rain. Yeah. It's just circulating the cleaning fluid and Shane could say to do this for 20 minutes. This is their cleaning fluid and you can only use water maker water in this system. Don't use chlorinated water. 